right, what is up everybody? Good morning. We have another beautiful day out here. So today we tried to get up a little bit earlier because they are detonating the power plant tower cooling tower near our house so if you drive like from here towards cape may get on the parkway basically if you go anywhere towards cape may county uh you can't miss it there's a massive power plant that's been out of commission for as long as i can remember i don't i don't personally remember there ever being coal being burned there um, but obviously there was at some point in time but today this morning uh, they are doing a controlled demolition of the cooling tower um, so what we're gonna do now is well we're gonna load up Finn in the car me and Sammy and we're gonna go down there and attempt to capture it on film so this is what I'm gonna be using Ugh, it's so hard to do stuff with one hand zoom camera right here and we'll be zooming in. Uh, we're gonna try to stay on the Summers Point side and film from here over to Beasley's Point, which is where the actual tower is. So this has some pretty insane zoom, um, 20 times optical zoom, it says it right there. So we'll use that, and we're also gonna be using the drone today. We're going to, I should say, we're going to attempt to use the drone today and fly this up in the air and just get like an angle from over here looking at the tower as it comes down hopefully we can pull it off hopefully they do it on time uh, at 9 30 when they're supposed to uh, lately it's been it's been rough to wake up on a good schedule and sammy used to wake up at like six every day five every day now we wake up at like nine ten all it's all over the place but today we got up at like seven and it was a lot nicer because I went over to Starbucks and there was nobody there. There was only two people. Usually there's like 20. But yeah, let's do it. Equipment check. Go. Is she bundled up? What are you doing, Finn? You about to see this? Alright, let's do this. Just got a little onesie on. So what are we about to do? Go watch the, it's the coffee cup, right? Yeah. So, I've said this before on video, but not a long time ago. Um, what were they? They weren't power plants, were they? They were power plants. Okay. Um, there's these power plants and they, they're right next to each other. And they look like uh, a cigarette and a coffee cup. So when I was little, I used to call them the coffee cup and a cigarette whenever my dad would drive over the bridge. And they're exploding one of them today. Right? Or was, the was the cigarette back in the day when you were young, you, did it used to smoke? Yeah. Okay, I don't even remember that, honestly. Yeah, the coffee... Because it was a cooling tower, the one they're blowing up. And then okay. the other one was like, what is the other one? I don't know. The command center? But they used to burn coal there, so it would come out of the top. I guess that's why it's called the cigarette, right? Because it would smoke. I don't, I just called it that. I'm sure other kids did too, because like, that's exactly what it looks like. It's just like long and skinny, and it blows smoke. It'll be weird without it there, though, if they take down all of it. Yeah, it is weird. Because it's kind of like a monument that we always had. Am I an idiot, or is it called? What's it called? It's not explode. They're not exploding. It's a enough. controlled demolition. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm saying imploding. They are imploding it. That is what it is. Okay. Because they're getting an explosion from the inside. So it's... So I'm not that tired. <laughs> you know how hard it is to get up at 7 with a not even 2 month old? Do you know where the real explosion was today? And have yourself ready and your husband ready to go. Do you know where the real explosion is? Where? In Finn's butt earlier when she pooped everywhere. I was happy that she pooped because I was like, you only pooped one more time before this. I know you're, she's like a two or a three or pooper. Yo, po. 
he you only poop time. once. No. Yeah, once every yeah, three hours. Home. We're gonna be late. view the demolition from and the only park that anyone would ever go to for this is closed look at all the people lined up here though so this is more of a big deal than they wanted to make it seem oh you can see it from here it's a terrible location to look at it though so there it is right over there you can see the power plant but that's the cooling tower that's going down been on this road a handful of times probably like 12 times not a single freaking person ever on this road ever now look at it insanity can't even drive down the road there's literally thousands of people I don't even know how we're gonna see this might just have to drone it all right there's so many thousands of people that just want to watch the implosion that literally this is the only place that we can actually film from and it's in the freaking marsh but honestly it's a pretty good angle I'm not gonna lie so i don't know if you guys can see that far but there's the tower over there here it is actually kind of the spot right here other than the sun being right there, but whatever. No. You can easily come through here. I mean, I can bring her through if you want. This is like the most magical little like woods right here, I feel like. Is it not? Or am I tripping? Um, well, it probably is underwater most of the time. Oh, at like high tide, you think? Come this way, through here. Hopefully there's no creepy bugs that could harm me or her. And this way. And there we go. We pretty much have the best angle you could have. Can you turn it? Is the car on? Yeah, but we gotta just leave it now. I can turn it off actually. Alright. Hopefully it's kind of on time because the drone can only stay up for 30 minutes or something. Let's try this though. Did you see it? That was insane. Wow. It's still going down. It's still going down. Yeah, it's going all the way down. Yeah, you'd have to be on point. All right, let's get out of here, right? <laughs> Babe. Hey. Should we get out of here? Because of the smoke, right? No, but I don't know where it's going. Did you see it? That was insane. Wow. Should we get out of here? Because of the smoke, right? No, but I don't know where it's going.
crazy ass implosion almost missed it tried to get the drone in the air don't know if i even got it on film but just in case the smoke's about to come over here like it did during the other implosion that we've seen we're just out of here Did, did Finn get to see it or not? No, she didn't. She didn't? No, because no, it's locked. Oh, it's locked. All right, so now the drone is just no idea where it is, actually. In this marsh somewhere. So say goodbye to these shoes, I guess. So the drone, I turned off the remote and the drone is just in these Mars somewhere, literally. So, I don't know how to even find it, to be honest. And there it is. So it did start to come home and then it landed. Wow. And I was about to just leave and come back. Happily, I just grabbed it because it was the woods where I was standing are right there. And it was right there. So it did come halfway back or more. Almost lost the drone. Don't even think I got anything on film. And yeah, another day in the life of a YouTuber, a father who's trying to juggle a million things at once. All right, so I'm pretty sure we're chilling right now at the house. Finley's in the bedroom. I won't say sleeping, but she's on the verge of relaxing. Uh, she just had kind of a freak out though because her binky fell out of her mouth. But I think we butchered the shots earlier. I was basically just so flustered with the time limit. They closed the one park we were originally gonna go to and we had to make a second choice, which was Jeffers Landing and that was busier than I've ever could have imagined. So we almost missed the implosion of the coffee mug, as Sammy has always called it. But let's see. Here it is. Oh, this is the shot we got, actually. This is pretty good. Let's see. Oh, there it is. That's actually a pretty good shot, I'm not going to lie. Did you see it? That was insane. Not bad, not bad. I don't think I got anything. Ooh, there's the part where it falls. So I actually fully nailed the shot. I would have liked to have had the other part of the power plant in the shot too, just because it probably would have been better like that. But I think I have footage of the cigarette and the coffee mug. From before. So I'm gonna export this and then we're gonna look at the drone footage and see if we even got anything at all. Let's see, I got it in the air. Oh my gosh. It was already exploding by the time it started recording. Nah, missed it. You can see the smoke's already coming out. I was so far away anyway, I should have just filmed with my phone and just said, forget the drone, because I knew I was on such a time limit, but I tried to push it. Either way, that was cool. And now we're planning. She's just sleeping, hopefully, in there for a, for a minute anyway. A little excursion down to this little beach that I don't think we've ever gone to before it's and when I say a little beach it's like as big as this room basically but I don't think we ever went there actually we might go somewhere else but we're probably gonna do a family adventure all right Finn you ready to check out this place do you guys know where it is yeah. <laughs> no we don't you don't okay. Bless you. Alright, we'll go to it. 
take us, you know, just go out of here and go towards the bay. The bay bay. Yes, the bay. chicken dinner. The bug zapper. Which one took it the down? The boy got it for me. This Was that the last of its kind? Being a local page off. Because uh, we come in here not that much, but enough. Like and, every day. I mean, if you live in SP, you just you know SP people. So, they cleared all of the bug zappers off the, there was no bug zappers in the store they put them back like because it's not season like it's about to get cold so they don't have these out on the shelves like literally it was bare they just took them off the shelves today but the boy was there and he was like he's like i'll go back and get you on he was like this has the stuff in it he said that alone should get you through the rest of the season but I was like, I don't know. I didn't say this to him, but I was thinking, I was like, thinking, I don't know, because like we have some mutant bugs uh, these days in 2022. They might have like mutated, and we're just gonna live throughout the winter now. I mean, it's a mosquito one, so that's the best idea. Well, it is mosquito. Yeah, but it will definitely attract. It's gonna attract more than mosquitoes, but that's what we really don't want. I don't like I don't like killing bugs either. I don't like mosquitoes it, though. If they weren't so attracted to my nice juicy skin. They're very attracted to thin suckle skin. Exactly. So I don't want to put this in the ground. <laughs> Uh oh. What? Somebody 
he's trying to be at my our spot down here. How are they just live here? They can't be down here. Oh, I like this little nook. Oh, we've been down here. Yeah, we have once before, but I forgot about it. But it's actually, it's actually a public beach though. This PA homie has been sticker on their car. And it can't be this is it. Bad. Here's the beach. And that's it. <laughs> that's all she wrote. Wait, this isn't private though, right? No. no, this is a public beach. No, it says private property, no trespassing. Yeah, that's private property. That right lot, there. the beach but not is this. public. Oh, the beach is public. Yeah. Is it really? That's why, yeah, that's why I wanted this All right, spring let's get in. Why don't you park right here? What, this isn't a parking spot? <laughs> yeah, the middle of the road's a parking spot. How'd you know? Yeah, because there's so many people flocking to come here, right? This beach, yeah, there is. No, you don't want to. Look, why are you yeah. telling people this beach? Damn, wait, you parked all the way up on this poison ivy? Wait, is that poison ivy? And you're trying to get Finn to go Turner, out there? is that poison ivy? Yeah, you're going to park right... Let's just take her out. It's fine. It's get not a big deal. It won't touch it. it won't touch her. Don't touch that. Thing. It won't touch her. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious right now? What? Poison ivy girl breaks down with the car. <laughs> parked sideways in the middle of the road. Listen here. That way. That's what happens. It's not poison ivy. I'm just through kidding. Transitions in life. Everything gets chaotic. She's mad now. She'll be good once mama holds her. It's good. Perfect. Perfect. Right here. You guys, listen to her little. Bring this for her. Hmm? The big tail. This, I'm going to put her in here and hold her. Alright. Made it down to the beach. So one time we did come here. Just walked onto it, but. I guess at the time we didn't really know if it was actually a public beach, but it is. So, here it is. This is the whole beach. Just right here <laughs> to right there. That's it. But it's real. Do you think the hot sand or the, or the other sand? Right here, right? Get this. It's kind of mock murky down here. These are the locals, these kids. They live right there, I guess. But they said nobody really comes to this beach. Which makes sense, because it's pretty small. It's literally this big. From this tail top wire right here. Okay, and see this? This is the whole beach. You are looking at, well, you're looking at me, aren't you? From this wire, all the way past the pipe. Finster bean. She wanted to walk across the whole beach. I could get her out and just hold her. Do you want to? Yeah. Should we go swimming? <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. You don't like bodies of water that have drainage pipes going into them. <laughs> Ew, that's that smell. We have been here before that. Just briefly. What they're walking in right now is what? Cold out. What is it though? Mud. So they hate it here. No, they don't know any different. They're literally baby seagulls. 
Why are they all here then? There's nothing going on here. That is what happens. People come down here and feed them. Oh. 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 No, this isn't real life. No way. You got to come in and feel it. It's like a mud bath. It feels good. Oh, you know how you You know how you like to eat seaweed? Yeah. Well, this is like a huge seaweed mud bath. Like it, it's crunching through my toes right now. Yeah. Ah. Uh, I want to know what the junkyard is. Nothing like it. Huh? <laughs> Check this out, Finn. When you're like 16, claiming you're a grown ass woman, you can do what you want. Remember these times when you couldn't do nothing without your parents. <laughs> True, though, right? I mean, it's not wrong. Couldn't even wipe your own butt to this, this morning. That's yeah, all right though, because Daddy don't wipe it when you pooty either. I do. I keep my stuff stank too up in the hole. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You're lucky, because you'd have a stank ooey if it wasn't for Mama. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, this baby seagull's making sense. She knows that though. She knows, because she she waits to poop until she knows I'm on call. All right, so we're thinking this is a nice spot to do our photos for our next uh, clothing drop. So we probably will use it, utilize it, and bring some props too with us. Wow! If I had you know what small I mean? Sweatshirts, I just hooked it. The little groms the up. up with them. Yeah, there's little local kids that live right here. Like actually local. And they're all over anyone that comes down this road. Uh -huh. Like, what are you doing down here? Because no one comes down here, so they're like. Asking 21 questions. They're cute though. Finn's like, mind your own business. I'm trying to hang out down here. That's interesting though. One kid's homeschooled. I was like, oh, he's, uh, he's really well spoken for his age. I don't know what I was about to say. <laughs> but yeah, to be continued. Let's get down to business with this zapper. The bug zapper. Black flag. So this is gonna have to be plugged in. So near an outlet, hanging probably from the side of the shed, because that'll reach to the porch. And then we won't have to have this, uh, <clears throat> basically the perfect placement actually, if you look at that from here to there. All right, let's do this. I don't know what's up with that. I mean, the bag was empty in there and it's already applied. I didn't do that, but maybe someone at the store already was testing it out or something. So honestly, let's just do it. We're good to go here. There's tonight's placement. That little sucker right there in the middle is what attracts the mosquitoes to it. And then they get zapped. So we'll see how it goes tonight. First time using something like this. In this property at least. Look at the sky though. Wow. It looks crazy, it looks unreal. What's up everybody? We're gonna be doing a movie night tonight. Hopefully, if we can get Finn to go to sleep. But this is what we're gonna be using. 
It's a projector and we're gonna set it up on the back porch. This thing looks crazy nice though. This is the screen. We got the controller. What else is in here? Q-tips, I guess for cleaning the screen, maybe? And then the power cord is in there too. And that comes with a little baggie, I guess. This is an HDMI cord for cleaning the lens or dust removal. Okay, that's what that's for. Wow, this thing's swoo. This thing looks high quality, I'm not gonna lie. And this is where it projects out of? Wow, that's gnarly. All right, so this is the screen here. It's 120 inches. And I guess these are to hold it on. go up on here somehow all right here's the screen setup it's not a perfect setup but it's pretty good what happened to the lights Can you just push them out butters all right I'm just setting up the projector that they sent us and look what butters is doing behind it butters you can't be doing that where are you Butters. Butters. She's trying to do everything by thing. Butters. Oh my gosh. No, she's not doing this. Look at her. Butters. Oh my gosh. We're going to have to exclude her from movie night in a second. Butters, you're gonna get banned from the theater. You're gonna get banned from the theater, Butters. This is not cool. Butters. Lifetime ban from the theater in a minute. Get down from there. All right, so I was setting up the projector and I started playing the Disney Plus app and then there's like this warning that comes up. It says something like, let me just look at this thing actually. It's like a HDCP error. I don't know. But basically you can't run it directly from your phone to the projector to the screen from Chromecast. So I had to buy this. So I had to buy this. It's a USB-C to digital AV. It basically connects my computer to the HDMI cord, and then I can connect that to the projector. Um, so that's an extra expense that nobody ever wanted to make. Uh, so that's part of the review. I was stoked, and then I had to go buy this cord. So make sure you have what you need before you get started, or you're gonna have to make another trip. But we also got Taco Bell for the movie night, and... I had to go out and get it anyway, so. About to pick that up and then we're headed back. Hopefully this cord works and we're gonna be jamming. We wanted to watch Hocus Pocus too, but it doesn't come out for like three days. Uh, but maybe we can when it does. Comes out on the 30th, I believe. But yeah, we're just cruising through the local shopping center here. So this is the other grocery store that I don't normally go to. It's called ShopRite. But the one I like to go to is Acme. But that, the reason why is because what's going on right now, there's like 700 people here and it's 8.30 at night. Imagine during the day. Then we got the Five Below, which is a cool store here on the end. Actually, they've had some good stuff in the dumpster there before. Probably right now they do, honestly. 
Dollar, uh, Dollar Tree right here. And the Taco Bell coming up. So sweet. All right, this is like a new uh, Taco Bell. It's been here for about a year. Maybe not even a year. I don't even know if I need this light, but I have it on anyway. Let me just roll the window down. This is a really nice one though. Look how nice it looks. It's actually pretty welcoming, although I don't think I've ever been inside there, but you can order from the app, right? And then have all your stuff ready so you don't have to fumble with it when you get through the to the actual drive-thru. And then you can just tell them your name at the drive-thru and then they get the order ready. Pretty nice. Well, can I help you? Hey, uh, I have a mobile order under James. Thank you. That's it, you just pull around and they got your order ready within like four minutes. It's pretty crazy. I don't even know how it's real, honestly. All right, that's the claim. Here it is. Here's tonight's claim. It's movie night on the catio. So since we've had Finley, it's been hard to try and get, what would that be called? Time together. Like date nights and stuff. Yeah, I feel like any parent knows, like anybody, any couple who has a baby, um, knows that like, when you put the baby to sleep, it's like, that's your, that's your time. That's your time, so. This is nice that we get to do this. Um, with this really cool projector. So this is what we're doing. We got sent a Vankyo movie projector to test out from the company. This is it right here. it up earlier took it all out set it up it was kind of a process I'm not gonna lie <clears throat> finally got it connected to the computer and here we are full-blown movie night can't say it too loud <coughs> movie night on the cardio so what are we watching focus, focus, obviously. We're just waiting for the drop of Hocus Pocus 2 coming in three days, so we're just hyping it up with this one. Look, she's crying. She knows we're doing it without her. For real. She knows. She's in there sleeping in the room right over there, so she can probably hear us getting excited without her, and she's probably mad. She can, she can. She knows. She definitely knows. I got that. Butters. Movie night with the cats gets savage. Literally, these are my extra kids. <laughs> Look at them. Because Butters is just getting crazier and crazier as she gets older. Ruru. Ruru's trying to watch her show. Her brother's in the show. Mm -hmm. It's like a great, great cousin. <laughs> Bugs. Are you coming to the party, Bugs? Come on. Oh, it's shut? I didn't even see it either. MJ, MJ clearly didn't, because I just saved his ass.
That's how I hear Finn when she screams. That's how hot it Watching it. <laughs> Where's the bots? She was watching. She loves Hocus Pocus, though. She already saw this, obviously. Where's the river? The chicken? I just like the Add to the review of the Vankyo. So, we have it here projecting onto this wall. We watched something on it last night and the night before actually but so before like last night i couldn't figure out what was going on because the volume was coming out of the computer which has like just limited volume whereas this has nice speakers so what i had to do is go into system preferences this what is it sound and then connect it to the tech tv hdmi and then it comes out from Crow. Crow. Why is he doing that? It comes out from that speakers of the actual projector after that. So if you can get it flowing, super nice system. I mean, it's a nice machine, but yeah. We're looking to watch the new Hocus Pocus on it. But we need a fly zapper back here for the mosquitoes. So we might get that today. All right, here we go. A package that we've all been waiting for. From Alicia. It's either Chrysler or Chrysler. Don't be mad, I don't know how to say it. Turner kind of spoiled what it was already, so. I'm like, oh my gosh. Wait, this is like the cutest card. She was just up. She was not up, she was sleeping. Like 10 minutes ago she was. But this is the cutest card. I'll show her when she wakes up. Turner and Sammy, thanks for the many years of laughter and joy. I'm sorry the truffulas aren't perfect. I'll make better ones in the future. I got the pumpkin at an antique mall here at the Smushmallow. That's like the coolest name ever. Is a prize I won at round one. I hope the treats and the toys are what will make all the fur babies happy. Kindness is beautiful. Thank you for yours. Lots of love from Maine, John and Alicia Chrysler. Lucky girls are precious. This is like the squishy bear. Card. The squish monster. Let's see these Let's things. See these. She said they weren't perfect, but I'm seeing them as pretty much perfect. How could they not be perfect? Look how perfect good they are. Perfect. Look how good they are. No. They look like cotton candy. She made these. Let me see. These are so cool. Let me see the pink one. Wow. Is this the squishy? The squishy, don't put it down. Put it on here? Or no? Is that good, right? These are so cool. These are perfection. I don't know who she's kidding. These are so pretty. I love these, thank Total you. Total perfection. Because you know what? I was like planning the whole time. I was pregnant, I was planning on making these and it's like, I feel like that's just like, oh. I'll make time for this and then you just never find time, so. I feel like that's what happens to moms in general. Look at this spread for the cats. Catnip, squeeze ups. They do like these actually, even though they're gross kind of looking. Oh, Butters is gonna have a ball with it. And these are perfect. So, the stoke is real right now. That's today's claim. Here we go. Going to Starbucks. Hopefully there's no one there, but usually there's a thousand people everywhere I go. But we will see today. 
Starbucks. What do we got? Alright, just open up the top. Just open up the sunroof here. Just pulled up to the Starbucks, so. I'm gonna give just a, a little vlog update here for the episode. As the time is going by, Finn is basically two months old today. Uh, I don't know how you want, like would calculate that because it's today's the 30th. So from July 30th to August 30th to September 30th, that's two months. Um, it's four weeks tomorrow, if that makes sense because obviously each month is a slightly different amount of days. Either way, she's like two months, so that is like the very newborn stage from birth to like now, and wow. I couldn't ever, there's no way that anybody ever expects all the things that change after having a baby to actually happen. There's so many thousands of little things and hundreds of big things that are just totally different overnight. Obviously, you know you're having the baby because Sammy was pregnant for that whole time. You know, we didn't know for the first like month, but for like eight months, we were just waiting. Like, yeah, this baby's about to come. But what we didn't realize is like, you go to the hospital, you give birth, and then like a day later, they just hand you a literal newborn baby. And they're like, all right, pat on the back. Go on, you guys got this. When in reality, most people who have a baby for the first time have no effing clue. And they don't got this. They just have to figure it out as it goes. But I will say that so far it's it's been hard. I'm not going to lie. It's been hard to spend time with Sammy alone, even though we're always together. We don't have that you know like intimate time like we did so we do have it but it's just so much less but before Finn it was like all the time you know we were always together but now we're always together as a family I think it's just about working through it and just I mean it's hard to be like all right let's go on a date night because you can't really do that with a newborn baby um I mean we we're the kind of people that want to be with her at every minute which I think is really important um, it might be a little over the top, but we're not really, we haven't yet, and we don't plan on having anybody really watch Finn for like the first year, if possible. I mean, we already did two months, think about it. So just be with her at every moment. But the update is um, today and a bunch of other days in the past couple of weeks, uh, we started our morning off. Well, today I woke up, I fed her. So last night, we went to sleep pretty late at like 12 we shouldn't have been doing that but so I put I fed Finn changed her diaper everything she went to sleep at 7 so at like 12 I woke her up basically fed her changed her diaper and then put her back in the swaddle back in the crib and she slept until like 5 and then I fed her again at like 7 30 this morning uh Sammy fed her at 5 so we took like turns feeding her um, and taking care of her but she has been sleeping through most of the night but what I was getting to after she got fed this morning um, we just all laid in the bed and Finn just lays right on top of the down comforter right in between us and it's literally the best thing in the world ever and it's something that you could never feel I don't think you could physically, the chemicals in your body, whatever makes you feel that way. You could never feel that way about anything in the world unless it was your own child. I, I really, now I truly understand that. And I understand why parents are so overprotective. Like my mom was pretty overprotective. She did let us do a lot of stuff that was super crazy though. Um, so I'll give her that. She let us be ourselves at the same time as just being there. Um, and I did, I did have a really, really good childhood coming up but I guess what I'm saying is we haven't been putting out as much content um, because we've been focusing on time on family time and we've just been focusing our time on Finn and trying to just get everything from this transitional state into a smooth running machine um, so I don't even know if I can really apologize because to me and to Sammy, Finley is the most important thing in the world. And if 
Finley takes time away from making content. Yeah, it might hurt us financially, but it's worth it. So apologies and hopefully we'll be able to get back on a more legitimate schedule uh, where I can be like, all right, this day we're uploading, that day we're uploading, that day we're uploading. But it's just, it's not like that right now. We're just uploading as we can and trying to get out, you know, at least a video, two videos a week if possible. And I think that's actually a pretty good place to be because two videos is actually a lot um, to do every single week. Uh, originally, you know, back in the day, we used to do like a video every day, every two days, and then it went down to like every three days. And now it's like, let's try and do one, one vlog, like a family vlog, and then one other video a week. That's the plan right now. I haven't been sticking to it strictly, but uh, we do have, well, we have two videos ready to come out. This one and then another one that I have to finish up, but we'll get there. And I do want to just, you know, I've, I've fed, I've fed negative negativity and negative comments before and even like yesterday and I get worked up about it and I try to, you know, come back at that person. But really what I need to be focusing on is all the people who love and support us. And there's so many of you. Um, so we do really, really, really thank you from our hearts because we never expected uh, to grow our YouTube channel into a business like this and one that actually supports us and pays our mortgage and our bills every month. And that's a really crazy thing to be, you know, that's a crazy place to go from our first videos to the ones now and all the people who have stuck with us along the journey um, there's so many of you, it, it would be crazy, but I should make just a gnarly list one day and just do shout outs because all the love, support, and awesome, positive comments that truly back us as a family, that's what really matters here on YouTube and just the community that we can create. So thank you guys, thank you all. But I'm about to get my Starbucks. That's just like the two month update um, there's obviously a million other things I could say. Uh, another thing that did strike me pretty, pretty, pretty crazy was like when you first have a baby, you're like, oh, I'm gonna have to change diapers. I'm gonna have to do this. But now, right, you know, now it's like changing a diaper is, is second nature. Like I, it's so instinctive at this point. It's like, doo -doo -doo -doo, and it's done. I don't even think about it. Um, as before, I'd be like, oh, that's kind of gross. But now I'm just like, everybody poops. I just change the diaper before I even realize what's going on. So yeah, anybody dads out there who are afraid to have kids, you know, if I can if I can pull this off, you know, almost anyone can pull this off uh, with a smile on my face too. And it's, don't be afraid of it. I was so afraid of everything because as you go, it just becomes part of who you are and you just learn things and you learn to do them quicker and quicker and easier and easier. And eventually you're just a dad. So that's where I'm at now. I guess I turned into a dad. Getting Starbucks. That's my big excitement for the day. Now, we got some stuff to do today, but Starbucks it is. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Much love. And more content to come.